What's going on guys? Jeremy here coming at you with another video for Slime Quest TV and today we're talking about the Humminbird Helix G4N and this will also work on G3Ns but we're getting the best down imaging picture we possibly can and I'm going to show you how to do it right here today. Stick with us, let's get into it. Alright guys, we're going to dive into these settings right now. The first thing I like to do is take this toggle button here and just Go to the left or right, up or down, and it's going to freeze the screen. Now, I have this unit on simulator mode right now just because it's so much easier to see inside the house with no glare from the sun or anything outside, and uh, you get to clean it. You can see the actual sensitivities up and down make a difference where there's no glare. So this works the same way if you're out there on the boat. Just take that cursor, go to the left or right, freeze that screen, and the first thing I'm going to do, guys... And the most important is hit that menu button twice, get up into your main menu, the setup uh, tab here, and take that user mode, switch it from Angler to Custom. That's going to give you more options in the actual SI Quick menu, and we're going to exit out of here, hit that menu button once, and this is the SI Quick menu. And now we now have DI Enhance, which is going to have... The contrast and sharpness in there before on angler mode we just had sensitivity and contrast so we're going to dive in the sensitivity guys if you guys are on a dirty water the sensitivity needs to go down if you're on a clear water lake you can turn that sensitivity up but not too much i found these units are, are a little bit overpowered and the sensitivity up just really gets too much clutter in the screen for most situations, I fish a little stained water. I like to have my sensitivity down to about 8. Cursor on down. We now have the DI Enhance. We cursor over to the right. And we have our sensitivity, contrast, and sharpness. We're going to take our contrast. If you go too low, just like the side imaging videos I've made, it just washes out the screen. On down imaging, I like to have this up to around 13 or 14. You can see that it's got rid of a lot of those little clutter in the, in the water column uh, clutter that's in there. If it's on 10, you can see it just ov overpowered. It's picking up too much. We're going to move this up to about 13 or 14. That's going to give you the best clarity for just a relatively stained water. Uh, if you're on clear water, you might be able to go on 12, but 14 gives me the best all around. I mean, once I have my unit set, set on sensitivity 8, contrast on 14, I leave it that way all year round. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is what you never had before on angler mode is the sharpness. And I like this. It has a low, medium, and a high. I like mine on low. It just kind of makes the, all the fish and the bait pop. And you can see it just add a little more sensitivity, which we're going to kind of eliminate a little bit of those brightness in the next setting I'm going to talk to you about. But I like mine on low, especially on dirty water. If you're in super clear water, like I'm talking super clear, you could actually have this sharpness on medium, but I would never go on high. It's just too much. It brings all that clutter back into the screen. Low works really good. We're going to exit out of here, hit that menu button one more time to get back to our regular quick menu. And the last thing I'm going to talk about, guys, is the DI Dynamic Contrast. And I like mine on on. This is really varies from each person to each person. But I'm going to turn this on. And it just kind of darkens that screen back up. And it makes the dark stuff that is not hard bottom darker. And the hard bottom stuff that we're really looking for. The fish and the rocks and stumps, st stumps things like that, really come out. So... That's what the picture looks like, guys, when you have a good, clear picture. And that's how you're going to take your Humminbird Helix G4N unit to the next level, getting that clear picture here on down imaging. All right, guys, that's as easy as it is. You know, getting your best settings there. Get out there in the water. Start adjusting those sensitivity contrast up and down. And don't forget, SI Dynamic Contrast makes a big difference. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next week.